Geeks, what is poppin'? Next up in the 60 years of Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the Avengers 60th Anniversary Wave is a two-pack containing the Hulk and the real star, Bruce Banner. Let's check him out. Now, wait a minute. Looks like we got some new tricks up our sleeves. I thought this was the same old, same old Hulk body we've been getting for the past three or four years. But on the box, it looks a little different. And I think the legs and everything are the same. This upper chest area does not look as detailed as the San Diego Comic-Con's Red Hulk accessory body they're used to. And I'm thinking these arms might be a little bit different. I'm not so sure about the arms. But this chest area definitely looks like it's hiding a secret. All right, so he comes with two head sculpts that we haven't gotten before. I'm sure these are the same hands I always got. And he's got the pipe and the orange torn up shirt that came with the, I think it was the European Con exclusive back in 2019 or 2020. Be careful when you're unpacking the box. Doc's glasses come by themselves in a bag that is taped to cardboard. If you're not careful, you could easily miss it. Oh man, come on, are you serious? All right, the Hulk's accessories. He comes with a pair of open grabbing that booty hands and a calm and stoic face looking like he's waiting for a burger at the drive-thru and the pipe, which I was kind of mad about at first, but I didn't realize that it was a new color. It's like a charcoal gray, kind of dark black gunmetal, shiny. I like it a lot better than the old one. So it looks like I was right about that chest area, but wrong about the arms. Those are the same old arms. So the only thing new are the head sculpts and this upper chest torso back area. I must say though, I'm a fan of that new shade of gray and the head sculpt is killer. So just so the kids in the back got it, head sculpt's different, chest area is different, color of the jeans, different. That's about it. Oh, and the shade of gray. And now we take a look at the good doctor. Now, I hadn't made my mind up whether this was going to be a full review or an unboxing or a combination of both. I thought it was going to be, hey, unbox the Hulk, he's not too different. Fully review Bruce Banner. But now that I'm here, this is just going to be an unboxing so you can look at him. He's not worth going through all the motions. I'm pretty bothered by this. Bruce Banner is an iconic character in Marvel lore. This is the first time Hasbro's given him to us in this line. And it's probably the last time, or at least last time for a very long time, they should have gone all out. This should have been one of the figures with all new tooling, except no, this is all old parts. The, these awful shoes and lower leg combinations. When he was on the spinner, you saw I had him held by his neck because I could not get him to stand up straight on my spinner. Granted, my spinner does vibrate a little bit, but most figures don't have a problem standing on there. Every figure that comes with these feet can't stand on there. Now I did get him to stand up flat here, but it wasn't easy. I still had to mess with it and play with it just to get him to stand up straight. Uh, the head sculpt, it looks good, but it doesn't say Bruce Banner to me. And that could be, I don't know which artist this render is based on, but the Bruce Banner from what I was reading, like if you handed this to me and just said, hey, here's an action figure, I wouldn't think it was Bruce Banner. I'd probably think it was Peter Parker. I'm sure there's some six inch professor figures out there you can grab if you don't want to grab this two pack. And then they went with the try. They went with the same. 
They went with the tried and true, different color undershirt, different color sleeve. And there's not painted, so from the side you can see the orange. I just think this is a big cash grab. I was afraid of the glasses falling off, but they sit on there pretty well. They're not like the beast where they're just itching to jump off. You can shake his head and they'll stay on. So that's one good thing. But yeah, this is a huge disappointment. I was really excited about this figure. Even though I knew the Hulk was going to be like pure reuse, I totally thought the price was going to be justified. I thought we were going to get a dope Bruce Banner, but to me, he's blah. If they had done all new tooling on this, they could have reused those parts for Hank Pym in a lab coat. They could have reused it for Reed Richards when he's in his civilian clothes in a lab coat because he's been like that before in the comics. There are plenty of characters that use lab coats. And heck, they can repaint, take it off and have a jacket. Use the suit body to phase out these old parts. And I'm not mad because they're old. I'm mad because they're janky. These need to go. I'm gonna stop now before I get labeled as the angry reviewer. There you go, Bruce Banner, Hulk. There you go, Bruce Banner, Hulk, two-pack unboxing, not a review video. So who's this for? Those of you that missed out on the European con Gray Hulk, this is a good steal, because he goes for over $100 on eBay last time I checked. Those of you that really want a Bruce Banner. And now granted, now that I'm looking at him standing there in front of the Hulk, kind of far away from me, he does look pretty good. But I know that if I try and do any other pose besides this, he's probably not going to stand up. And all my complaints about the old parts still hold true. I'd say unless you're really, really desperate for that Grey Hulk, hold out and see if you can get this on clearance. It's just my recommendation, or at least on sale. As of right now, for most collectors, I don't think this will be worth it. For newer collectors, probably. If you're new to the game, and like I said, you miss, you miss that Hulk, go for it. Plunge in. He's awesome. I never thought he'd be the highlight of the box for me. But if you're in it just for Bruce Banner, I'd say wait, maybe grab him off of eBay by himself, do an easy custom from some other line. I don't know. I just I just can't in my heart tell you to pay full price for this box set just to get Bruce Banner. All right, so talk to me. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Did you order this pack? I didn't see a lot of people talking about this one on the internets, but I can't be the only person that was excited and I can't be the only person that's a little bit disappointed. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's talk about it in the comments. I have a feeling like some people are gonna be mad at me and I know some people are gonna agree with me. So let's go. Remember, cordial discord is invited. Let's all be polite. Till next time, geek out.